up YouTube welcome to 2018 I know that's very underwhelming considering the fact it is literally two weeks into the year but I'm a flop what's new anyways by the title of this video I'm sure you can tell we're going to be eating food talking I don't have very many friends in high school a few high schools that I went to I literally ate lunch alone sometimes so if you're like me and you either a don't have friends at all or b have very little friends which is my category I figured why not sit eat with me enjoy and we can pretend like we're in the same room chatting about life before I get too deep into this video who is snapchatting me before I get too deep into this video allow me to address the elephant the flowy elephant in the room yes these are hair extensions no it's not a wig they're clip-in extensions yes they match perfectly with my hair color my actual hair ends about here the extensions go to here so it's a lot of hair obviously um Yes, I left one piece out just so you guys could see like the color and what it looks like. This is actually curled from two days ago and it stayed curled. Let's see if you can <laughs> see that. Yes, that looks a lot blonder than it actually is, but you can see same color, same length. I believe these are the 18 inch they're either the 18 inch or the 20 inch i'm not exactly certain on that but if you guys are not familiar with this brand it's called kyla Stoff, and that is the packaging let's see will it focus oh, there we go pretty so first off this packaging is so dope like i'm absolutely obsessed the quality of the hair extensions is amazing softer than my own hair might I add. And one really cool thing about this brand is the name. Kyla Stoff is actually Silky Soft. So that's how they came up with the name, which I think is super, super cool. Another thing to mention about this brand, which I think is also amazing, you can tell that they really care about the quality of their product. They have the two compartments, as you can see. So there's actually the sample, my ring light is getting in the way, but there's the sample hair that comes pre-opened, or not pre-opened, but like it's not taped off. So you can see if it matches your hair color, if you like the consistency, the length, all of that. And then the main compartment is up here. And it actually has a little note to read this first when you first open this up. But all of the other hair pieces are in here. Obviously, I'm wearing the majority of them. And this actually comes sealed. What you have to do is you check this compartment first, make sure that it fits and you are satisfied. And then you can open the sealed part. If you open the sealed part beforehand, you cannot ship it back to return it or get like a exchange or anything like that. So. I just wanted to note that really quick. I don't know if that made sense, but hopefully it did. And also for those of you wondering what the color is, my color, oh, it is the 20 inch hair. It is the Sunkissed Golden Blonde Hair. So I will link the website down below so you guys can check it out. Like I said, super amazing, super obsessed. I've been wearing them every day since I got them. And now we can get on to eating food because that is one of my favorite pastimes. So I wasn't really sure like what I wanted to talk about, but I was positive that I wanted to stuff my face in front of a camera. So I figured I would talk about 2018, my affirmations, cause like I don't have new year's resolutions. As I told you guys, I have affirmations. So I have a list of those on my phone. Let's see, what did I get? I got a 10 piece chicken nugget. I got the McDonald's McPick 2, I think is what it's called. Oh, they gave me none. I have no honey mustard sauce packets. Luckily, I am a fat child at heart and I always have spares. All right, I'm back. I decided to grab 
two honey mustard packets. Probably need this bag to like not get shit on my um, lovely chair here. So let me pull up my affirmations. Actually, one of my affirmations, ironically, was to grow longer hair. Like I will grow longer hair. Like I will get my length back and healthy hair. And it kind of like came true already. I mean, it's not my own hair, but it works. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, what else? I will get my own apartment because your girl is about to be 20 in March and it's time. It is time. I'm just very, very picky and don't know what I want. Actually, I do know what I want. That's why I can't find a place to my liking and my budget. Mmm, good. Mmm. Someone just opened the door. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I probably shouldn't have worn lip gloss for this. It's cool. It is what it is. Oh, yes, yeah, so I will purchase a new car. That's the second affirmation. Because, like I said, new year, new me, new hair, new apartment, new car. Progress. Adulting. Oh, this is a good one. I will be more outspoken and straightforward in real life. Because, yes, I'm a very outspoken person on the internet. And I have all these messy, petty story times. But I am not one, and my friends can vouch for this, I am not one to speak my mind in real life. It doesn't make me any less real and authentic online. I just have an easier time being more comfortable with my opinions online versus in real life. And I want to translate some of that in reality. You feel? Mm-hmm. This is so good. I haven't had a Big Mac since like a while. Like last time I had a Big Mac was three o'clock in the morning after clubbing. Best decision of my life. Mm. 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 It's lacking Mac sauce though. Like normally there's a lot of Mac sauce today. Not so much. And I don't know how I feel about it. Mm. I'm gonna switch to nuggets. Next affirmation. For those of you who don't know, I'm in college. For those of you who don't know what a dean's list and president's list is, it's every semester. Um, I don't know if it's like different for different schools, but for my school, it's every semester you have the opportunity to make the Dean's List, which is 3.4 or higher GPA for this semester, or the President's List, which is 3.7. Last semester I made pre or the Dean's List. This semester, I want to go for the President's List. So, I don't think it will be that hard, knock on wood, but I'm gonna work towards it. Um, let's see. Another one, I will travel to at least two foreign countries by myself because I want to start traveling. I've been saying that for a year now, but I really do. And I just, I want to explore the world on my own, you know, have my own opinions, have my own experiences because I'm old enough to travel on my own and young enough where I, I need to get out and do it. This is so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Last affirmation, I will focus more on my mental health and well-being because I feel like last year I made my life about boys. Not all about boys, like I had some focus, but I tried so hard to focus on relationships and like hookups and stuff like that and that was like the center of my universe and that's not okay because like I need to start doing more for myself. I need to start doing more of what makes me happy and not really caring what other people think about it, you know? 
So with that being said, I'm not going to like completely denounce boys. Like I'll be honest, I've had a couple dates since the start of the year. And when I say couple, I, I literally mean a couple, like two, <laughs> um, two different people. But I don't want it to be the center of my life. And like, I have a tendency to get caught up in like my feelings very quickly. And I just can't do that this year. Can't do it ever again. Cause it messes with my head too much. Oh my God, I almost choked. Mm. I also wanted to do like a recap of last year. So I wrote down in my notes, I'm such an organized person, I swear. Like, wow, I love me. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. But I did like an organized note section of like recaps and talking about it. First one, I put friendships ended slash mended, which is like crazy. Cause I like literally made up with the same people. It was weird. It was so, it's, it was such a weird year. Like, cause in 2016, I had like really bad issues with like finding out who I am. I was just being very, very selfish and not really caring about other people, which I know sounds bad, but like I'm being real here. I really just didn't care what, not what others thought of me, but I just like didn't care about other people in general, which I know sounds like really, really, really bad. But what I mean by that is like, I was so consumed with my own stuff going on. Why does my phone keep beeping? I was so consumed with my own stuff happening in the world that like I, was the only thing that mattered in my life. And that caused me to lose a lot of friends. Um, and this year I worked on that and I became, I'd say a better person for sure. I definitely have changed. And I also lost some people again, but you know, it's life. And I didn't have any like major falling out. They were just very like gradual for the most part. It was more so just me like isolating myself and things just, quietly ending, if that makes sense. Ooh. I'm so extra. Another really bad thing for me, or not bad, but like big thing for me that like was the center of my universe last year was like pointless hookups. Like I was being a little thought if I do say so myself. I was so desperate for a relationship and so desperate for like love essentially. That was a real cute air quote. Um, that I was just like hooking up with these people so that they would give me attention. And like, that's not the right way to go about things. Like if you wanna hook up with people, like that's cool, but like make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and make sure that you're doing it because you genuinely want to engage in physical sexual activities rather than you being desperate for attention and love and affection and finding it through said physical activities because then that can mess with your head if someone does not want to reciprocate those emotional connections. I am about to choke on my food and die. Do you ever just like dance to your own soundtrack in your head? Ah! I just dropped a chicken nugget in case you were wondering what that ridiculous noise was. Another thing that occurred last year, which I've kind of touched on, but like not really. I like touched on it in a very like, oh, I got a text. I touched on it in a very like subtle way. Why is everyone mad at me today? Everyone's mad at me today. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing. I lost my train of thought. That's why I have a list. That is why I have a list. Oh yes. Essentially, I like stopped caring about YouTube and I know that sucks. Like that's such an awful, awful thing to say. But like what I mean by that is like I just lost the passion for it and i just like had to have like a come to G <laughs> i can't speak it comes to jesus 
moment with myself and be like, yo, you need to chill out and you need to like get your priorities straight because the reason I stopped caring is because I genuinely was like upset and like a little like disappointed in myself that like my channel completely died. Um, it's so dumb. Like why? Why is that such a big deal? You know? Which I actually talked about in my previous video. I feel like my mindset has changed so much even in the past like week or so. Cause I'm just like, or not even week, but like the past like couple weeks, I'm just so like chill about everything and so like it is what it is. I know in my heart that things will fall into place and I know in my heart that if I continue to do what I enjoy, then I will end up where I'm supposed to be. And that's it. Another thing I want to touch on is weight loss and eating disorders, if you will. Because I don't know exactly when or why this happened, but I developed a subtle eating disorder and I didn't even realize it until like months later. And I feel like I lost a lot of confidence last year, which sucks because like in 2016, I worked so hard to get so much confidence back. I feel like I really just like it diminished over the course of last year. So that's another thing that I need to work on is my confidence again, which I think is slowly building back up because as I have stopped relying on other people to make me happy and have just really realized that like people are going to have their opinions no matter what you do or what you say, then I will just slowly get back to the point where I was progressing towards just genuinely not caring because as much as I wanna sit here and be like, yeah, I totally don't care about anyone's opinions, that's just not the truth. It's not. And I'm working on it, but not quite there yet. This year is going to be very like self-care, self-awareness, mental health, like not like LA juice cleanse, detox, like none of that, but like as far as the mind and like practicing mindfulness, I think is definitely something that I want to get more into. I stopped meditating for a while and I need to do that again. So I definitely think I'm going to get back into meditating. I meditated twice, like two days in a row last week so i'm really proud of myself for that i just want to work on me this year i don't care about boys and getting too caught up in relationships if a relationship happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't like it is what it is and i don't care about stressing myself out over social media because it's just not worth it like i've said in my last video i just want to get to a good mental state and continue on that path because i feel like i haven't been there in a while and i feel like that's really been messing with my life and there were times last year and even a little bit this year where i've literally just sat in bed and all, all day and like not done anything and that I just can't do that anymore like that's not good you know so <sighs> this was not supposed to be <laughs> this like deep at all I was literally just gonna sit here and talk about life and have a fun light-hearted video but <laughs> it took a turn so <laughs> whatever it is what it is I feel like that's gonna be my motto for this year because I've said it so many times it's it is what it is. You live, you learn, and you grow, essentially. Those are my two phrases for this year, for sure. I feel very Trisha Paytas right now, but I kind of dig it. Well, my camera is going to die, so I'm going to sign off here. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below for further video suggestions. Follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down below as always. Subscribe for new videos. I put out new videos every single week. I'll see you guys next video, and stay Gucci.